I play for the Wanderers in Vienna. I, in my club, I actually play third base. Uh, and with national team, I, like for this year and last year, I play short, so. And what's your name? Oh, my name is Denise. <laughs> How long have you been playing softball? I've been playing for almost 20 years. Um, I started when I was nine years old. There's only a baseball club, so I started playing baseball. And with 13, I came to the ladies, the Wanderers team. So where you grew up, there's only baseball for the younger kids, and then you transition into softball as an adult? Exactly, yes. Awesome. And how did you find that transition going from playing sort of a more boy, boys primarily sport to, to girls primarily sport? I actually didn't want to swap over because I like playing with the boys and I I was like kind of like the best player. So I enjoyed being the only girl in the boys team. Uh, but then when I started and then the game was just different, it was faster, it was more exciting. So I was like, my boys. <laughs> Anything you miss about baseball? <clears throat> no, actually, not really. And so now you've been playing softball for how many years? Uh, 15, 15, almost 16. And what has been your um, personal best experience in the sport so far? Uh, playing at the World Championships last year in Surrey. And why was that the best experience? It's once in a lifetime opportunity. You're a co-captain on the team, right? Yes. And what are some of the duties that you enjoy about being a co-captain? Um, I'm not the extrovert person, so I left it more to the captain. And if she needed my advice, I was there to give advice and motivate the girls. Like more privately. Though. Um, what is uh, one of your favorite traditions the team does? Traditions. Yeah. Um, that's a good question. That's a Anything that you can share. I know sometimes you can't share. Dishes. Like I noticed when you guys go out on the field, you have like your little team cheer and... Yeah, actually that was my idea to do something new. So it's actually okay. new. All right. That's why I, I thought about it. But we just made something new because we're such a new team. Like I'm old. But the, the rest of the team is just new players. So I was like, they can't really relate to the cheers we did before pre, for the pregame. So I was like, let's make, ask them, make something new. And then we did the little huddle and a new cheer. Okay. Seems and with the Rhett Machine cheer. Like, we're, Rhett Machine was like 10 years ago. It started like so, um, a coach called us Rhett Machine. So that's the tradition we kept um, going on. And then I was like, they don't know what it is, so we just do something cool for the young people. And what is Red Machine for those who don't know? Um, it was the year when there was A and B pool, and it was uh, our Canadian coach, and she was she gave us the name, and we in this year we got into A pool. Yes. So. Then we made ourselves hoodies with the red machine. That kept them going. Nice. Um, now, I know that. Uh, uh, I mean, it's ob it, 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 I'm terrible at approaching subjects, but um, you play obviously with your head covered, um, and it, it seems to be fine for everybody here, and it doesn't seem to be a problem for anybody. I'm just curious to know your experiences and playing um, playing I know that you played before as I understand it, it that this is a transition for you so maybe if you want to give a little bit of background on that uh, it was actually 11 years ago so everyone accepted it so it was not really I just attract attention you just attract attention because you're yeah. wearing it yeah yeah but they're super nice and I got a lot of compliments and also that I play good but Sometimes it's like, okay, thanks. <laughs> it's not that that makes me, like I have to, I can still be a good player, you don't have to yeah. compliment me too much. 
I was going to ask, does it, yeah, I do. I, it's, it's sort of like being a girl in a boy's world, right, yeah. Yeah, you did such a good job. I'm like, okay, thanks. Would you have said that to somebody who wasn't wearing this? Right. Yeah. But played the same way. Um, is there anything you want people to know in terms of, of understanding or tolerance or, or um, you know, experience that you've had that, that um, I don't know, just, just, within softball or, or within the world that, that you want people to know that would would help generate, sort of foster the, um, the, the I think, the community feel that we have in softball in terms of uh, openness and compassion. In softball, hmm? the, with the community in softball, soft, like softball has been great to me. They're so open and tolerant, uh, but the rest of the world <laughs> outside of softball is more difficult. What but do you think the rest of the world could learn from softball? From softball? Yeah, be more open, just let people live, let people wear what they want, and That's just be nice and kind to each other. Um, I'll finish up with one last question. You might have an answer right off the top of your head, you might not, but everybody seems to... It's my favorite question to ask, because I get different answers all the time, and it's fun. Um, it's my shot question. Oh, no. Uh, Anything you've ever wanted the world to know, this is your opportunity. Give it to me. No. <laughs> the world to know. God, that is, yeah. It's a big one. Yeah, just treat people as you would treat yourself to me. Just yeah. <laughs> be nice.